Hi, it's KCD, and you're watching Why Tell Me Why. This week, we're answering your questions. Why is it so hard to give up our bad habits? I spoke with Professor Cindy Jardine from the University of Alberta. She surveyed 1,200 people to find out what they thought the biggest risks in their lives were. What's interesting is lifestyle risks seem to be the biggest concern, with number one being stress, two, cigarette smoking, and three, sun tanning. Well, there's a few things that, that seem to point to reasons for why this happens. I mean, one is that a lot of these behaviors still have um, conflicting social norms associated with them. So there's, there is still sort of, uh, smoking is still to some degree acceptable um, under certain circumstances. And therefore, if everybody's doing it and everybody starts at a very early age, it's not that bad a thing to do. It's, it's, it's a social norm. It's a socially acceptable thing to do. And I think we find that even with some of the other risks. I mean, certainly stress. We've started to look at overwork and stress in our lives as almost a badge of honor. You know, well, I'm working a 100-hour work week. Aren't I good? And, and we get positive feedback for those kinds of behaviors in our environment, even though we know that they're, they're destructive to our health. And sun tanning, I mean, that was another thing that came up as being very dangerous in the public survey that we did. Um, despite the fact that we all know the risks of sun tanning, um, we all know the possibilities for skin cancer, we continue to sort of have this visual image of, you know, the tanned face as being healthy and vibrant. Um, so I think a lot of it is situated with conflicting social norms that we have, social norms that conflict with um, what we know about the risk itself. And when that happens, we tend to sort of take the path that is more socially acceptable rather than looking at the actual risk information. Another thing that came out of my research is things that we think are under our control that represent choices. At a certain point, especially in addictive behaviors, cease to be choices for us. Uh, we cease to have, have the control to stop on our own. Maybe the element of choice is gone after a certain time in doing it. The other thing we found is that people aren't as concerned about things that haven't hurt them yet. And I think that that relates to a lot of the risks that we were talking about, alcohol, smoking, even sun tanning and stress. Thanks for watching Why Tell Me Why. Any other questions you have, you can email me at whytellmewhydiscovery.com and I'll answer those questions for you on air. But now I have to go because I have a lot of work to do. Bye.